Yeah, I kind of was still on a call there. So that's that. And I still have like a thousand things open and I'm totally not prepared for being back on 2B. I could start walking already. while I sort out my stuff. That's that, that's that. That is that. Does this still work? No, this doesn't work. Oh, that's probably because This, we can close off this, this is fine, this is fine, this is that. Kind, I would like to leave that one open. Did I just... Okay. Is the recording working? Yes, it is. Do we have sound? Do you have image? Is the file there? Yes, that looks good. I think I did upload all the previous episodes already. Yes, I did. Okay, so we're good to go. Um, yeah, sorry for that very unprepared start. But suddenly I was, what happened with my coordinates? Suddenly I was placed um, second in the queue and I was still in a call and I was doing this and that and um, yeah, then this happened. Anyways, um, I'm here now. Doesn't it display the overworld coordinates when you're in the nether? I swear it, it used to do that. Okay, so there, wait, also why is my 
menu not getting dark or and what why is my something hmm didn't the menu go darker when you opened the not the menu like the background didn't everything whatever um render maybe I somehow activated that one How do I transparent my um, horse inventory? Yeah, that one. Okay, so uh, clean uh, graphical user interface. How do you pronounce it? GUI? GUI, right? <laughs> uh, clean GUI uh, is responsible for this one, the shadow in the background, the one I was talking about that I thought that I didn't activate. Wait a minute. I think I know what happened. Did I? And that's also, oh, I know what happened. How did that happen? Okay. So, uh, I have the suspicion that I opened MultiMC instead of polyMC due to old habits and due to like being in panic and having to open Minecraft client while I'm second place in the queue uh, and you know doing other things meanwhile so I might have opened the uh, multiMC client I was also super confused because my entry for the for the proxy wasn't there. My, it was only to be 2 t my server list, not too bored to wait. So I had to edit again. Now this config is back and stuff like that. And also the coordinates of the overworld don't seem to be displayed. Maybe that got changed in the update and then PolyMC I have a more recent version of Lambda. And here I can see which, uh, which sheets I have on. So I can remember those. We have TPS sync, auto eat, Mob owner, baritone, boss, well, baritone is auto work. Boss stack, oh yeah, boss stack is nice. Um, no slowdown, what's that? Oh, that's for like cow webs and stuff. Um, full right, lag notifier, anti weather, anti, anti overlay. But that's, that's the anti overlay, right? The one with the, no, that was the clean UI. Hmm. I don't know. Storage ESP, packet limiter, inventory move. Inventory move? Is that the one where I can like do this one? Oh, this one is also way more fluent than it used to be. Is that the one that I was talking about that you could predict? I don't know. What does it do? Inventory move. Ah, okay, that's the one. No, never mind. Uh, container preview. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let me somehow verify it. Yeah, I closed it again. Yeah, but I'm, I'm definitely running off of MultiMC. Didn't I uninstall MultiMC? Yeah, you are. Multi. I didn't. MC bin. Okay. 
I hope nothing breaks if I uninstall multi MC right now. Yeah, we could, what could go wrong? Did it? Okay, that's that. Yep. <laughs> wow, and I'm bored already. Um, I should have really just not joined. It's I thought like five hours ago that I wanted to play right now, but yeah, that's I don't know. The queue has some advantages. That you can while you are in the queue um, I, I tend to be very productive in the queue because I feel like I'm waiting for something that is not very productive so I'm waiting to play a game and in the meantime I could like just spend the time to be useful I just tend to do very productive things while I'm in the queue compared to when I'm let's say not sure what I should do and I'm not waiting for anything then I tend to like only do crack and crack not good so that's nice but then on the other hand it kinda forces you to play even if you don't want to because otherwise you would never play because if you if you always um, decide that right now when the queue finished you don't have any time then it, it decreases the playtime by a lot so yeah it's just it's a mess but I don't know it, it can be good and it can be annoying so it would be nice if one could casually join like for 10 minutes if you have like a free second you just need to calm down and do something um, I could probably do that if I would optimize my workflow of um, not being so active all the time. For example, traveling the highways, I, I should somehow do that on my laptop uh, or somewhere that where it doesn't conflict with my workflow or where, where it doesn't need my attention or doesn't block my main device or something like that. So. Yeah. Could do something and meanwhile mm, because then I could leave it running all day I could be like productive on 2B but actually do other things and when I pop in and want to play actively for, for a short time I can do that um, question is though how safe is it to travel the highway um, I mean I somewhat actively watched most of the 1.3 million blocks that we did in distance and so far I would say there was probably only two cases that would have been dangerous there was the one time that we encountered another player um, but that was closer to spawn so I think he had like a, a diamond armor and I probably had max iron I don't know um, so I was I was frightened by his diamond armor I remember that so it must be way closer to spawn um, so the likelihood of encountering another player decreased by a lot I think since since we are further away now um, the other encounter that was dangerous was the wither and the likelihood of encountering a wither I have no idea. Like a wither is not a player that has to be online all the time so that we encounter him. A wither is an entity that's like part of the map, like part of the world. So it's not, not a player that gets bored and leaves his position or is waiting in the queue or something like that. So it's way likelier that if a wither is placed once that this wither then um, 
gets in touch with like all the people traveling the highway but then even though that it's unlikely that I encounter other players I'm definitely not the only person um, riding this highway even that far out so other people might run into the wither and kill the wither and fix the highway so that should be somewhat safe actually and it's I'm not sure but I feel like the closer to spawn you get the more funky stuff can happen like you find nice loot um, there's lava everywhere there's there's a wall covering the highway there's um, there's good and bad stuff but there's exciting stuff happening because there's a lot of activity so many people get bored and do something or people expect other people to be there so they whatever creations may they uh, have good or bad intentions will actually affect other players um, yeah, and I feel like out here, maybe this is all just automated, um, automatically mined because look at this highway, it's so perfect and it's been so perfect for, for a long time. By perfect, I mean the way it is shaped out. Um, you don't, like if you were to dig that by hand, it's very likely, especially if you go diagonal, that you miss um, with your pickaxe and you break a few blocks too much and then you don't get this like perfectly caved out um, tunnel but you get something that's maybe too big uh, maybe too narrow sometimes not sure um, so that's just human error and there's no human error in this tunnel of course you can fix human error but then if you talk about those distances I'm not sure if one would be motivated to fix mistakes if if the highway is still functional. Um, yeah. So I feel like this was automated using, I don't know, probably Baritone. I think Baritone has a feature to, to dig out highways. Pretty sure. Baritone. Help. Maybe not in this climb, but Baritone can definitely do that. Help too. Set a goal to tunnel in your current direction. What's the difference between tunneling and like just going there without a walk? Because I want to try it out. Okay, but first of all, I want to finish my sentence. So I think this was Baritone. And given this was baritone, it feels even safer. So it's just like an automatically dig tunnel. All the travelers are probably also using baritone. So it's not even like humans with malicious or non-malicious attempts, uh, intents um, that travel these highways. It's more machines. Machines with, um, with missions that are like build a highway or travel the highway. And there's nothing really about kill every stupid chicken that's traveling the highway um, so I think the highway is very very safe and I could actually go AFK um, maybe I need some kind of alert system so I can actually stop the recording otherwise I need to cut or something like that um, what was it mood Okay, yeah, but let's try it out. Spare tone. 
fan nu. Some of the chat kinda got spammy. But it's only a few people, I don't know if I want to mute them all. You try to move in the game, but the your chat is still open. Love it. Um, so it's better to own tunnel, right? Let's try it. Oh, I don't have my X ray at Minecraft. Lava, fire, water, planks, whatever. Very tone tunnel. Yeah. That is pretty much the same as auto walk. If you have a look at it, this is auto walk. It's it's pretty similar in this case. So tunneling is not the one that was used to to make this. Um, maybe it was uh, the schematic one. Who knows? Maybe the lambda client is not able of doing that but a different implementation of Baritone or like a different wrapper around Baritone is probably the better word. Explore things, what's that even? Used to get out of caves, mines. Interesting, so many specific features. This way, okay. So it's your home waypoint. Oh, I can do set home and then home. Hmm. What edit like commands? Holy shit. That's funny. Okay, I have no idea how to how to build these towns. This one, um, Shemantica builds the loaded. This one could could probably do everything, but. Yeah. I will just look it up. I'm curious right now how to do it. With baritone cell outdated. Oh wait, cell was the word it did like command, right? Wait, 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 wait. Of course. Ah, oh, I should have I should have gotten that. Here, cell. I was I was even pointing it out that it's cool that you can do word edit like stuff. And I didn't realize that word edit could potentially help with digging out a tunnel. Ugh. Okay. Let's uh, finish watching the video.
Oh wait, I was just reading up. So first I was I was watching some random YouTube videos um, that explained the post command, and then I realized um, that the so the semicolon is for. Am I not highlighted? Where am I? So the semicolon is for um, lambda, and the hashtag seems to be for baritone. So this one. I don't know if it's going through Lambda or it's like somewhat arriving somewhat directly at Baritone, which is awesome because then we can uh, read the feature complete Baritone uh, documentation on GitHub. I have the usage.md file open here and it says that tunnel takes arguments of uh, its size. So we can do tunnel to dig a meta tunnel one by two. It will only they deviate from the straight line if necessary, such as to avoid lava for dumb for dumber tunnel that is really just clear area. You can tunnel three two hundred to clear an area three high, two wide, and hundred deep. And if I tunnel in a diagonal manner, I'm I'm curious now. I'm curious. Oh wait, I should kill those, right? I, I just noticed. Wait, how are there even Endermen in the... How is this even... Is this common? Do they spawn here? What the heck? I was randomly stopping and I realized what a rare catch I made here. Finding those Endermen. Will they teleport away? Yeah, probably. And then they're also burning and they probably never come back. And I can't follow them. Yeah, I should have expected that. Anyway, it's time to lose some horse again. So, if I tunnel this direction. Will it go diagonal? No. I'm confused now. to go to an axis or diagonal axis oh you can also find an axis by saying axis that's nice Interesting that Kami is mentioned in the Baritone doc um, because Kami is also the client that I used and Lambda is based on. Interesting. I thought it was such an unknown client and Baritone didn't even know that they existed or something like that. Interesting. Okay, so that didn't work. Baritone, diagonal, tunnel. Okay, so we end up at YouTube again. Or Reddit. Set build repeat. Build schematic. Yeah, that's what I said. Schematics probably help. But I don't know how schematics work. Do I have to create a file? Oh, I really don't want to look into schematics now. How do you spell them? Schematic? Sk 
Schematic. Schematica is not preset. Uh, present preset. What the fuck? Um, yeah, that's probably in the baritone box. To build a schematic, build blah dot schematic will load schematics blah schematic and build the original. Is that folder in my Minecraft directory or where is it? Um, okay, so what's the file format? Schematic file format Baritone? It's probably not Baritone specific, but like micro specific, I'm not sure. Again, YouTube. Hello, my, my name is Bob. Wait, how did he create a schematic file? Allow inventory true. Oh, I need sound. One second. Okay, to be honest, I was mostly AFK and not researching the schematic stuff. I'm some, somewhat not interested in uh, downloading some mods or shit. Um, whoops, wrong direction. I really don't want any additional third party mods. I wish, like, the nice thing that I saw. On, uh, on Reddit, the person who recommended using schematics and then repeat to build the diagonal highway. He said like schematic 3x3 air cube. 
and there was probably just referring to what the schematic should look like but imagine I could do like a schematic and then three by three air cube or even air you probably don't need the cube because that already specifies the dimensions right um, or whatever I, I would also be willing to type Minecraft air I don't care um, that would be cool because then you could like, just type out schematic files in like one command quickly uh, but I don't think it works that way I feel like the schematic files are somewhat complex even if they are complex you could create them with a simple command and just add all the bloat for minimal schematic file requirement in there uh, but yeah whatever I don't think that's possible though um, yeah so that's sad But let me look up. Maybe there's an easy way to create schematic files. Minecraft 3D schematic tool. Is it a web tool? Looks like. Oh wow, it's like Minecraft. Essentially Minecraft. Holy shit. This is so impressive. What browsers can do nowadays. I mean I've I've played Minecraft in a browser before, but this one is so smooth and it's so sharp and it's just it's awesome. I'm at uh, cubicle.xyz and I'm just impressed by the technical stuff. So how do I well, but how would you specify an air cube? <laughs> you can't. I don't know. No, I, w I want something in text form, preferably. Maybe if I search it on GitHub, schematic, I find raw files. Is it JSON? I'm doing import schematics, export schematics, build schematics, all inside Minecraft. Set up schematica, compile, upgrade. Hmm. Yeah, that's not really what I want. Mm -hmm.
Wait, but it's saying set build repeat minus one, zero, minus one, whatever that means. That's probably building it on a di diagonal way and repeating it. And then it's building a schematic. But I'm too stupid to figure out schematics. Maybe I can use cell to, well, create a air cube. And then uh, I can use the set build repeat. Maybe there's set cell repeat. So let's have a look at how cell works. Cell. Cell. Um, I can't find it. What the fuck? Where is clear area? Look at help cell. <laughs> help cell. Okay, it's referring to the help page in the docs. I, I kind of was hoping that there's more in the docs than in the help page, but there's literally less. Okay. Well, it's not even fitting in the whole thing. as high as it gets. Whoops. It's, it's not helping. We can't increase. Huh. Okay, whatever. Then we have to scroll. I would. I mean, I still have space here, so I want to see more text. Um, the second command allows you to manipulate button selections similarly to word edit. Using these selections, you can clear areas, fill them with blocks, or something else. The expand, contract, shift commands use a kind of selector to choose which selections to target. What is expand, contract, and shift? Hmm. Supported ones are A, all, N, newest, or O, oldest. I have no idea what that means. Okay, so usage. We have cell, it's for selection, right? Yeah, so we have selection. Then we have position one, or we do P1 or, or just one. Okay, that's nice. And then set the position to your current position. Yeah, I kind of got that one out of the YouTube video. Um, then we can do a relative position. That's nice. Okay, there's no absolute position. Interesting. Um, but also we don't need that. Even if we want to go to the world corner and we know the absolute position, we can just compute our relative position, which is like two million blocks or something like that, I don't know. Clear the selection. Undo the last action. Set completely fill the selection. Walls, fill in shells, same as walls, but fill the ceiling for two. Clear area, basically set air, replace, okay, expand, contract. Expand the targets, shift. Contracts the target, shift the targets, does not resize. Interesting. Okay, let me try something. What do you guys think? Can I make it work? Or not? So I do eins. Nope. Yeah, I can't. Uh, what? No, I went help. So, cell one. Ah, okay. And then cell two. Interesting. Cool. And then we do set air. 
Mm. Basically set air. Cell set air. Ooh. It says filling now and it's not filling, but what a troll. Uh, stop. Okay. So now try a smaller scale one. We do cell one. Then we do a cell two. And then, oh wait, I kinda, it kinda keeps, keeps them. Clear the selection, cell C. Okay, so I need a cell one. That's cool. Well, that it can't do that, right? Or back in the days when I did it, it could only keep one selection. So you didn't have to do clear. Okay. And now we go back to our Reddit guy because I forgot the command already. He said, set, build, repeat this one. Um, okay, and now start. Uh, Expand the targets. That one also looks. Cell expand. What's a target though? What's a target? I don't know what a target is. Ah, all newest, old. Hmm. No idea what that means. Maybe those ones are helping us. Can I do a cell set here? Huh. I did it. Look at this. This is how it works. Look at the technical output. Vector 3i. Holy shit, why is there i? This is so technical. Um, but yeah, so this is how you do it. So I would just set the other position a bit higher. So that is most likely how all those highways were digged out. Cool! Now I know. Look at this boy trying to baritone some diamonds. Now I know, and I'm rocking in the wrong direction. Cool. Um, I'm not sure if I would ever need that. I was just a bit curious. I'm usually not a very curious uh, person, to be honest. Especially if I don't have a use case for what I'm exploring. Uh, but I feel like I will have a use case. I just don't know it yet. Maybe when I'm building a base, I can just utilize that for, for a base or whatever. I'm pretty sure I can... I can make use of it. Okay. Yeah, so the Reddit answer, which is two years old by Ecnicos, whatever, set build repeat and then build schematic was very, very helpful. Um, I almost went through the hassle of like getting a schematic. I thought schematics are easier to get, but you can also do set build repeat and use a simple cell command to clear out a cube and then repeat that in the 
in that direction. You wish. Um, that is awesome. I wonder if I select a perfect uh, shape of the highway and then run that if I would be traveling slower than without it. Do you know what I mean? Like if I were to dig out the highway in the shape that it's already dug out and um, compare that to just auto walking it, what would be faster? Because then it would be just running and if there's like a block in the way, it would mine it away. Would be fun. I wonder how smart this, like how... I feel like currently I have all these life insuring, uh, how do you call them? Like all these systems in place that um, help me survive. So the auto walk is smart. It doesn't walk into lava. The um, auto eat is on so I don't starve and stuff. I wonder what happens to those when you activate like a um, set build repeat. Does it still eat? Does it still not run into lava? So many questions. It's so exciting. It's such an awesome project. I really have to point it out. Baritone is amazing. It has so many applications. It is so functional. It is so smart. It's, I'm, I don't know, I knew how awesome Baritone is, but now that I actually saw how easy it is to, to get it running yourself and make some use of it, it's impressive. Very nice. Okay, so we're about to hit the one hour mark. Um, I guess I will restart the recording already and uh, see you guys in the next episode.